is a 52 inch design house ceiling fan. I got this from Holland Restore about a month ago. Um, this fan has has the Saturn print blades. I don't. Yeah, you can see it. If you look at the blade closest to the wall, um, as you guys probably see, um, it had, the arms are very very messed up. Um, one of them is too low. One of them's too high. One of them is bent weirdly. Like you, if you try to level it with the center, you can't do that. It like levels with the left or the right. And you can't attach the other two. Um, somehow I managed to get the others attached. Um, so yeah, here is the low. Um, I'm not going to run it on high. Just because of the wobble issue that it has. I mean, it is a big one. Or I might, I might just have to end up holding the fan. Because of how close to the wall it is, as you guys can kind of tell, it is, it is very, very close to the wall. <clears throat> um, this is where my new tone Scoville Grand Deluxe usually is. However, I have taken it down for um, testing needs for this one. Since I finally got around to testing it. There's medium. As you guys can tell, I'm holding the fan. It, do, it, it definitely picks up on medium. Um, yeah, I hate to interfere with... Uh, I, I hate to interfere with this, but it's, this fan's bad. Here's high, and I'm going to hold it with both hands, because I've never had a fan this bad. Yeah, see, it, I'm, it's already wobbling pretty crazy, and I'm giving it a ton of resistance. And I'm going to turn it off. Um, I didn't feel anything coming out of this fan. Um, so I think it's more of a sideways air mover. More than a, uh, <clears throat> um, downwards air mover, if that makes any sense. Um, yeah, I really think that this fan really needs a ton of blade arm work. I might have to replace the arms entirely. I don't know where I can get identical arms, because I'm not going to either take, take the arms from the original... Or, um, buy some generic ones. Because that would kind of ruin the contemporary look that this fan kind of goes for. But the upside to this, but the great things about this fan is it has a really long spin down time. Um, bearings are great. And the fan itself is great, but it's just the arms that are causing me to not really understand and feel what the fan can do. If that makes any sense. Um, and I bet with the arms it's kind of uh, messing up uh, air distribution a little bit too. Since the pitch of some of the blades aren't exactly the same. Um, I actually really like this fan. Um, in general. But it's just the... Um, blades that just bother me a ton. And you guys saw how much resistance I was giving the fan in, on high speed. And uh, as you can see, it's playing in the top corner how much resistance. You can kind of tell by looking at my hand how much resistance I was giving the fan, and yet it still wobbled like crazy. If I didn't give it resistance, it would be hit, most likely it'd probably hit the wall. So, and this fan looks like those uh, fans that you'd find at Kmart. For whatever reason, it looks like a Kmart fan, but it isn't. It's a design house. Um, 
Yeah, this fan has a really good spin down time. Actually, quite impressive. I didn't, I, I didn't think it was gonna be over three minutes. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.